Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about when you can find out when you're going to be a consistently profitable trader. I've had lots of people ask me, you know, how long does it take to be profitable? What, what did your tra trading journey look like? And in this video, I'm just going to break down the step-by-step -step process that every trader needs to go through and how long it's going to likely take for each person. If you're not consistently profitable yet and you're working on it, you're going to want to stay all the way to the end to watch this video. I personally day trade futures. So I trade ES and NASDAQ futures and I've been trading for just over three years now. It took me two, just over two years to become consistently profitable lots of trial and error, lots of lesson learned, lots of pain, but over time I became more consistent and I believe that you will as well. Without further ado, let's dive into it. So the first step that every trader needs to do is they need to backtest. And what I mean by backtest is every trader needs to have a, a strategy. They need to know their win rate, their risk reward ratio, how many times the setup likely comes over the weeks. And to do that, um, there's a lot of things you can do, but it, it usually takes chart time. So we have to watch the charts uh, every day and just watch price action. Uh, a lot of people will use indicators and indicators can work for some people, right? May not work for others. I personally use some EMAs uh, or some SMAs, just like some moving averages sometimes. But most of the time it's just raw price action. I use trading volume and candles and that's what I use and that just makes everything more consistent, at least that I found. But I'll just go over it quickly with you. So. We're on the four hour chart here. And as an example, a consistently profitable strategy could be we have a nine EMA and a 21 EMA. So you could take a, a trade based on an EMA cross, let's say, right? So on the four hour chart, you'd want to back test at least six to 12 months of data. So that way you can then gather all those stats I said before, like the win rates, risk reward ratio, how many times the setup comes, uh, the times of day the setup comes. You want to get as much data as you can and minimum, like I said, six to 12 months of that data. So I'll go over an example. So let's say the strategy is just, you know, you long a NASDAQ on the four hour chart uh, when there's a, a cross, when the, the nine EMA crosses above the 21 and uh, there's a, a, a touch. So you wait for it to cross and then you wait for price to touch the nine EMA. Then you, you long it and let's say if it's a long, then you, you target a new high above the candle high. So now that I explained all that, you just go ahead, you would look at the chart and you would say, okay, so there's a 921 cross. The 9 one is green, the red one is 21. So there's a cross here. You're gonna, after this cross, you wanna get in along once price touches the 9, and then your target is gonna be a new high of day. Okay, so there was a cross here, it touched here, you got in, uh, your target is new high of day, let's say, right, 160 points, and you have to figure out what's your stop loss gonna be. Well, let's just say our stop loss is gonna be um, 80 points, right? So our stop loss is 80 points. You drag it there and you see, okay, that trade was a loss, right? When's the next cross? Well, the next cross was right here at uh, 6 a.m. So then the next touch was right here. So then you enter long here because there's a cross down and there's a cross back up. And then your target is new high to the left. So about 120 points. And then your stop loss, we said was 80 points right there. So then you have that trade there and you see this one worked. So this one was an 80 point loss. We got stopped out. This one was a 120 point win. So that was a 1.5 R trade uh, 1.5 R because the target was 120 points. Stop loss was 80. That's 1.5 risk reward ratio. So that one was 1.5 R. This one was two to one, but it was a loss, right? So, so far there's two trades on the screen and one win, one win, one loss, but average risk reward ratio being about a 1.5, even higher because this one was a two to one. So average, average risk reward ratio is a 1.7, let's say, and a 50% win rate just with this two trade data. So you would go along, you know, that was just a Friday the 23rd, that was to March, that was one week of data. So we have in one week of data, we have with this strategy, we have an average risk reward ratio of 1.7, and then we have an average win rate of 50%. So then you would write down, okay, that's our data there. Go back six to 12 months, repeat the process, six to 12 months at least so you have enough data. And then you'll know, okay, over the past uh, six months, there were 40 trades. Win rate was 50%, risk reward ratio was 1.5. And uh, over that six month period, NQ uh, with this strategy was about plus 724 points. So then you say, okay, what was the most drawdown? How many losses did I have in a row? Well, it was like, oh, you know, at one point there was three losses in a row. We lost um, 80 times three, we lost 240 points. 
okay, well, what, what kind of sizing should I use to be able to emotionally and psychologically handle that level of drawdown? Because the strategy shows, hey, worst case scenario so far with six months of data is you can be down 240 points on NASDAQ as a max drawdown. Well, you know, with one contract, you're looking at, you know, over 5,000, about $5,000 of drawdown. So you say, hey, can I stomach 5,000 of drawdown and take the next setup mentally? Not just not just money-wise, but mentally, because that's a whole other aspect. So that is point number one, and that's that's honestly the most important part. This is the part that takes the longest, uh, in my opinion, because you have to have the profitable strategy with enough data, because that's how you gain the confidence in the strategy. The more data you have and the more you see it happen live, that's into the next step. But the first step is gathering six to 12 months, find out the win rate, find out the risk or ratio, find out how many setups happen, uh, find out the max drawdown you're likely to have, and then find out the sizing that you should use. All right, this point, um, it could take uh, 12 months, this could take 24 months, you know, it depends on where you start. A lot of traders don't start here. A lot of traders just, just start trade, placing trades, you know, the same thing with me. Uh, it took me about, you know, I didn't start doing this until about probably a year and a half into my trading journey. So imagine that, you know, I'm, I'm trading for a year and a half and I didn't do this. Okay, if you start off your trading journey and you start doing this as a first step and just testing it, whatever strategy you have, there's tons of strategies. I just told you like one simple strategy on one time frame, but there's just a, a million different strategies that can that can be profitable to different varying degrees. So you want to go ahead and, and test the strategy, get six to 12 months of data at least. That's the first step. So that's step number one. And once we've gotten there, and like I said, it's likely 12, to 12 that's going to be already likely 12 the 24 months in your journey where you found a consistently profitable strategy and gathered enough data. All right, once you do that, then you move on to the next step. Real quick, if you do appreciate this video, hit that thumbs up button, please. It would it lets me know that you enjoy this type of content and I can make more of it. Okay, so the next step is if that trading strategy is profitable, you're gonna write down your trading plan. And your trading plan is what are the rules you're gonna follow? It might be like 10 points. Uh, for me, it's let's say on NQ, I'm, I'm only allowed to take three trades in the morning, right? So in your trading plan, you might have something written down like, I can only take a trade in these times, like 9.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern every day. That could be one rule in your trading plan. Uh, only trade NASDAQ, right? Or only trade ES, or only trade these two symbols. Don't trade, take trades on anything else. That could be in the trading plan. Um, after, two lo after two losses, stop trading for the day. That could be in your trading plan. Um, you're an N if I take an NQ trade, this is my max stop, right? These are all points in the trading plan, uh, or every trade must have a stop loss. That could be in there as well, right? Once you have all these things in your trading plan, that's how you wanna build it. You wanna read this out loud every single morning before the market opens, so that way you are training yourself to follow these rules. So the second point is to create the trading plan and follow the trading plan. Now, once you have the trading plan and the consistently profitable strategy, a lot of the legwork is done, and now it's time to execute, right? And just those first two points of getting the profitable strategy, getting enough data on it, setting your trading plan, all that is 80% of it. And then it's the other 20% is following all of that. And it's a, that 20% is a long 20%. This is where you're battling yourself and you're battling yourself for many years in your trading journey. You'll, you'll battle yourself forever in your trading journey, but uh, it gets better and better. You, you personally get better at battling your own emotions and sticking to your plan, doing what you said you would do. It's basically comes down to discipline at this point and just consistently every single day doing what you said you were gonna do and following your trading plan. And that's the other 20%. Once that trading plan is done, then it's time to use prop for money or your own money with a small account, like $1,000 in a trading account. So, you know, really pay attention. I, I didn't say use or take any trades for this whole time. Like you could go six to 12 to 18 months uh, just figuring out this stuff and, and using no money, right? You need, we need the data, we need the strategy, we need the trading plan, and then it's time to put the trading plan into into action with either a prop firm, and you know, use $50 or $100 for a prop firm account, or a small account, like $1,000 of your own money, and then trade the micros on NQ or micros on ES. So once you have that trading plan, it's time to trade the prop firm, try to execute, and then use a trading journal and journal down everything in terms of like the trades you take and your thought process behind the trades and and what happened 
The point of this, and this is going to take months, is to figure out your weaknesses. You know, are you tr are you closing your trade early? Is the trade going into profit? It comes back to break even, and you close it out of fear, and then it goes to your target. Um, are you afraid to take the trade? You know, does a trade setup come and you watch it come and go? You don't get in at all. Or does your trade go into profit? Then it goes into drawdown, but now your stop loss. Then you close it for a small loss but then it goes to your target, right? These are all things that you need to battle within yourself. And that doesn't come until you've done the previous steps before that. And this can take three months, six months, right? And you, you wanna do this three, six, nine, 12 months until you've proven to yourself that you can follow your trading plan. The whole purpose of this is to use small amounts of risk, right? A proper account, you're only risking $100, you know, or your small account, you're only using $1,000. It's something that isn't going to destroy your life. You don't want, even if you have $100,000, you don't want to use that money until you've proven yourself you can grow that money for months and months, not just one month, not just two months, uh, at least three months. And then even after three months, that's when you move on to the next step. So once you've been consistently profitable, following your trading strategy for at least three months back to back to back. Um, that's when you've made it past 90% uh, of traders. And then this is when you're you're pretty much just working on those last one, two, three, four, five percent to really scale up and, and make a lot of money in your trading. And this at this point, you're likely about 24 months into the journey. So you're, you're likely about two years into the journey You've got the strategy, you've got the trading plan, you're able to follow your trading plan, and you've had success. You've been consistent. However, there's always times at this point, and I, I struggle with this still today, every trader does, um, and I've gotten a lot better at, with this in the past uh, 12 months, but it still happens, is the big loss. So basically, at this point, you're, you're likely two, two years in, you've had three months of consistent profitability, but then there's one trade where, let's say, everything goes out the window, you don't follow your trading plan, and it's a huge loss. And it's a loss that wipes out, let's say, one month of profit, uh, or a few weeks of profit. And this pattern happens, and it, it happens for years for a lot of traders. So basically, you're consistent, you're making money, there's one trade that wipes out one month, right? And this may happen once a month, or this may, may happen once every few months where you're making money, making money, but then one trade wipes out, wipes out two weeks of profit or one trade wipes out one month of profit. And then you get back to your consistent, 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 one trade wipes out a week of profit or two weeks profit. And over time and over the years, this happens less and less if you become more disciplined and you journal, you know, hopefully you really do build the discipline and you believe in your strategy more and more and you stick to it. And that at that point, you're likely three years in where you know, you, you take the loss and it wipes out, let's say two weeks of profit, but it happens once a month or it happens once every two months. So you remain profitable month by month. And that'll likely be about three years into the journey. So at this point, you've you've mastered yourself to an extent, really building on the fine details, like letting your, your winning trades run, right? Taking a partial, let's say, letting the rest run. That, that, that doesn't come until you've done all the steps before. And that's when you're about three years into your journey. Some people, if they really grasp it very quickly, then two years into the journey, and they're there, where they don't take those massive losses very, very frequently. But that's just a realistic example of how long it's going to take. First year or two is is the trader, you know, just doing a bunch of trial and error, figuring out what strategy works for them, and then going through the self-discovery journey of seeing if they are able to stick to their own plan. If that takes years, and you just get better with that over time. So that's how, Every trader becomes profitable starting from inconsistent to consistent. It's likely a three year three year process. So if you're just starting out, if you're in your first six months, don't get discouraged. If you're in your first two years, don't get discouraged because there's plenty of times where you're consistent and then you know something happens where you don't follow your plan and you give back a ton of profit and you start to doubt yourself again. But every trader goes through this. The point is you wanna get back on the train and continue with your process and continue to improve your process. And one thing I didn't mention is all while you're executing on your off times, like when the market's closed or on the weekends, you're back testing other strategies. You're consistently back testing. You're always gathering new data. You're always looking at the charts. More and more chart time is what's going to improve your strategy and have you to gain more confidence in taking the setups because you're seeing it more and more again. And one tool that's really great to do that and enforce that is, is FX Replay. So if you haven't checked out FX Replay yet, I highly suggest you do that. That's the best backtesting tool. You wanna to go over to my buddy, Mac Gray, his YouTube channel, and you wanna go ahead and implement these tools so you can go ahead and test out any strategy you want. 
you can go to ES or NASDAQ and you can start to back test this in real time. And it's just a lot better than testing on TradingView and document you know, how your strategy did. So that's gonna conclude this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post YouTube education on how to become a consistently profitable trader and I also document my trading journey so you can see how I am personally trading. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.